and you take um you make you strip nude first you oil you down your whole ritual he would oil you down so when when the flip of the um of the ironing cord hit you it would just you know and it was just like me dying and you just flips all over your face your back everywhere and I always hear my mother back, no, Joe, you're going to kill him, you're going to kill him, no. You know, like, I was like, I was, I would just give up, like there was nothing I could do, you know. And I, and I hated him for it. Hated him. And you look in the audience and he'd make a face like this. you go, oh, I can't mess up, he's going to kill us. It would just scare the bejesus out of you. And he'd be like, everybody's clapping, he'd like, like, looking at you hard, like, don't you mess up, you know, and I'm like, oh, God. I'm in trouble after the show. We hear his car coming down the drive. We drove always drove this big Mercedes. Yeah. And he drives real slow. Show the phone. Show the phone. Quick. Boom. Door slam. Everybody runs to their room. Like there's some time I'd be in bed at night sleeping. It's 12 at night. The door is locked. So I'm giving you five seconds. You're going to open it. I'm going to kick it down. And he starts kicking it. Boom. Kick it. Like breaking the door. And I'm, why do you sign that contract today? I go, I don't know. He goes, well, sign it. If you don't sign it, you're in trouble. So you would sign? I had to. He was, he was very physical. He'd throw you and hit you as hard as he can. And I never forget this. Janet and myself, we say, I would say, Janet, shut your eyes. She'd go, okay, that's shut. I said, picture Joseph in a coffin. He's dead. Did you feel sorry? She would go, no. That's what we would do to each other as kids. <laughs> We'd like play games like that. She'd go, she'd go, nope. Just like that. And that's how hateful we were. I go, he's in the coffin. He's dead. Do you, are you, could, are, would you feel sad? Are you crying? She goes, no, nope. just like that. You know? That's how angry we were with him. And I love him today, but he was hard. I never felt love from him. And he would never hold me or touch me. Oh, how are you doing today? I'm scared of my father to this day. My father walked in the room, and, and God knows I'm telling you the truth. I've fainted in his presence many times. I'll say once, to be honest. I've fainted once. I've thrown up in his presence because it's just, when he comes in the room, oh, this aura comes and my stomach starts hurting. I know, like, I'm in trouble. <laughs>